Hey, how's it going guys? Phil here and this is a review for the dual screen 9 inch car DVD player by Navisk Auto. You'll receive two screens for the DVD player. One is a monitor only and the other has a DVD drive built in beneath the screen. You'll also get an instruction manual, remote control, wall adapter, cigarette lighter adapter, audio cable, DC power cable, and two velcro straps. Let's take a look at the monitors first. The one that's on the left is the main unit, and the monitor only is slightly thinner and lighter. Along the bottom of both are stereo speakers with LED indicators in the middle. There are playback control keys, menu buttons, and volume adjustment keys. Inside the main unit, you've got the DVD drive. It can play burned media as well, although it cannot play Blu-ray discs. Make sure to remove the cardboard insert in the drive before first use, as well as the plastic film over both screens. On the side of the main unit, you have the input and output ports. There's a headphone jack, an audio output port, an SD multimedia card slot, USB input port, DC output, and power input. Then on the top side, you've got the power switch to turn the unit on. On the back, there are two slots for the Velcro strap, and also two wall mount holes for hanging the unit indoors. On the other monitor, you have a DC power port, audio in port, headphone port, and on and off switch. Then on the back of that unit, you have the same mounting options. The way the system works is that you play video on the main unit, and then use the DC cable and audio cable to power and deliver the video audio feed to the other screen. In this way, you can watch the same video on both screens simultaneously. Note that you won't be able to watch different videos across the two screens. The remote control only works for the main unit as well, and you'll have to remove the plastic battery saver tab beneath the pre-installed battery to use it. Once the unit is plugged in, switch the main unit on at the top. The red light indicates the unit is charging the internal battery, and the blue light indicates the unit is powered on. Since the secondary screen doesn't use the remote, you'll have to use the physical keys on the front to adjust the screen settings like contrast, brightness, and color. On the back of the main unit, there's a fold-out kickstand that allows you to use the screen on a table, though oddly, the secondary screen lacks this feature. Once you have a DVD loaded, if using both screens, they'll play the video and audio on both. I did have trouble with some DVD discs not playing, but others seemed to work fine. The screens were perfectly synced with no delay in the signal nor echo in the audio during playback. I also found that it can play and decode a number of different formats, including burned media on DVDs, VCD formats as was common with karaoke discs, and when using the USB drive, the player was able to recognize AVI files, but not MP4s or MKV files. It can also play MP3 music files. Attaching these screens in my car to the back of the headrest was straightforward. Make sure to insert the Velcro straps through the brackets with the teeth side down. Then feed the Velcro end through the strap adjuster on the other end. Pull tight around the center of your headrest and attach the hooks. Here you can see when I try to play an MP4 file, it says the video codec is not supported. With the AVI file, the video plays fine. I don't have the power cord plugged in because I'm running it off battery power, and it turns out that when running off battery, the second screen does not get any power. In order to use the second screen, you must be connected to a power source. Once I plug the power in, I'm able to turn on the second screen. Overall, the DVD player is easy to set up, works well with nice picture and sound quality, and it recognizes a few different file formats, but not MP4s, and some DVDs won't work in the drive for whatever reason. However, if you rip the DVD to AVI and use a thumb drive, you can still watch it, and I think that's an easier option since you can load a whole library of movies to a single drive. I hope you enjoyed this review. You can ask me any questions in the comments. I'll put a link to the product in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and join me next time.